Hi, have you tried Brick's Query Loop yet? I bet you will like it so much. It allows you to retrieve data from your database and render whatever content you want to show inside the loop. In short video today, we will show you how to combine our facet to filter the Brick's Query Loop. This in-depth integration works on PO.NET Grid version 2. It's kinda basic to set up this combination. Let's check my demonstration firstly. Filters are arranged in the left. In the right is query loop area. This is just a simple setting to show properties. You can apply it to the tourism field or anything else. With Facet, it's easy to use and customize style controls to diversify your filterings. There are various of filter types in Facet and possibly work with Mutable Custom Fields plugins. Okay, let's get started. In the beginning, you need to prepare your own Facet via PO.NET Grid Editor. I already created some filters in this Facet. The first filter is for drop-down selection display type, it queries a specific taxonomy and second one is for image selections to query custom field. Two last filters are for slider format, they also query the custom field. In Brick's editor of demo, I have a structure of facet and query loop like this one. I'll delete the facet to restart the configuration. Then search and pick a facet element again. You may have a note here, the facets and query loop need to be separated by Brick's layouts, as in this example structure. Click on facet element and configure the parameter. Then choose your appropriate facet query. In grid type, select Brick's element. If you want to boost results returning speed, you can enable the cache function. In query loop, you can add more elements such as an image, text, product price depending on your need. Make sure that you already set up detailed query. Then scroll down the end, you'll see the Pyat Netgrid facets apply. And implement your facets in drop down options. That's all steps to combine PO.NET Grid Facet with Brick's Query Loop. Let's check the final results. It totally works well with exact results. In practice, you can add a pagination or load more facet in the end of page or post, 